Just let go. Let kids chart their own future. It's college admissions time. People are stressed out, especially the parents, more than the kids themselves. Parents want their kids to make the perfect choice of a major. Unfortunately, for most parents, the mental model of what they believe will help their children succeed in the future is based on past experiences, observations, and a totally different time. A caveman parent would have told his kid that the secret to success was hunting. A parent in the 1600s would have told his kid that the secret to success was farming. But the world and the technology is moving so fast that it's impossible to predict what will be the secret of success in the future. And it also relies on the parent's definition of success. Many parents have asked me how their child can get into AI or artificial intelligence because to them, AI is the path to success. I have to admit that I too wanted my twin sons who will join college this fall to study AI. But one kid has decided to major in biology and another in chemistry. I too do not know if there is a future in AI. Perhaps AI will be automated by AI. Today, kids have a lot of choices on the disciplines they might pick in college, and that's overwhelming. Research shows that the more choices we have, the more difficult it is for us to pick one. And no matter what we pick, we always second guess our choices. This is true for something as trivial as ice cream flavors to something as serious as career choices. That same conundrum is hitting our children. I too thought I had made some bad choices. I studied artificial intelligence when it was on the decline. I thought I could understand how the brain works by modeling it in computers. In the long run, things turned out okay. Maybe I was just lucky. Few predicted the resurgence of AI. You can't make decisions about your future based on what companies are saying either. Just a few years back, most companies did not encourage remote working. Now, it's a 180 degree shift. Few years back, most companies insisted on a college degree for any job. Today, many companies are hiring based on aptitude and care less about college degrees. Here's my general answer to parents who want their kids to study AI. Is your kid really curious about data and building tools to model and analyze data? Or are they interested in understanding how computers can be made as smart as humans? Then AI is a good option. If your kid is keenly interested in some other fields unrelated to AI, such as chemistry or molecular biology or dance or entrepreneurship, then you should encourage them to pursue that. Most of those disciplines will have data as a big component, just like how software is an integral part of them today. Many of these fields will have AI-based tools as part of their curriculum because the future will require data exploration and understanding. If your kid is just exploring, then AI is as good a choice as any other. In that case, she should just use college as an opportunity to explore many disciplines so she can formulate her own version of the future. Tomorrow's world is going to be multidisciplinary. Many people who go into AI, even today, have a background in biology or chemistry or law or humanities. And in fact, that expertise helped them be better at AI. A college degree just establishes a strong foundation for a path towards continuous learning. Most knowledge will be outdated by the time the kid graduates, but the essence of education is to learn how to learn and be curious and to build on their strengths. This reminds me of a joke where two executives at a company are talking to each other and one tells the other, we should provide training to our employees so they can grow and perform better. To this, the other one replies, but what if we train them and they leave? And the first one responds, but what if we don't and they stay? 
While we don't know what the future will hold, we can make some educated guesses. For example, we know that today, memorization is not so critical in learning. Rather, skills like critical thinking and empathy will be more important. This means that fields like pharmacy or law that used to require a lot of memorization will have to shift in a different direction where empathy and framing arguments may become more important. Another great skill is the ability to combine ideas from multiple disciplines to create something innovative. Today's AI operate in a very narrow field and that's why it's called narrow AI. While they can identify patterns within a given domain, they are unable to combine disparate ideas across different domains to effectively innovate. These are things I wish I knew 30 years back. I hope this video gives parents some thoughts on how to guide, but not prescribe. I hope your kid does their best, grows into a future they desire, and remain eternally curious. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like my videos because it helps me a lot. For a one-page visual summary of this video, please sign up on my website. Thank you deeply for giving me the motivation to do what I do.